Hello and welcome back to LFC Online. I'm your guy Harold or Lord Harold to some. As you can see from my background, I'm not in my living room. I'm in a very strange place, I'm in my back garden. So it is a little bit more green. I thought, you know what, the sun is nice. I don't have to set up my, my, my soft box lights or anything. I might as well enjoy the sun, right? Just like our players are doing on international duty ahead of Euro 2020. So. Guys, what is, what is this video? Welcome to LFC General News and Update. Just what's going on in the, in, in, in the life of all things Liverpool, what's going on in the media, what's kind of, what kind of agendas are being put against our name. I thought I'd discuss a little bit of that. So yeah, sit back, relax, get some food, get a drink and enjoy. I won't keep you very long, so don't worry, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. So this is your snapshot. Think of like news round back in the day, but, sna but snapshot news round just for LFC. If you're picking up any of the wind, my sincere apologies. Obviously, I'm outside, um, but the mic should be just fine. Um, okay, wh when am I gonna get started? First thing, first things first, it's literally just been confirmed today. I mean, it was all but confirmed prior anyway. Jeannie Wijnaldum has signed to Paris Saint-Germain on a three-year deal. Um, it's reported around, obviously it's a free transfer, it's reported around £8.6 million a year in salary. That works out to about £165,000 a year. And he was never getting that at, at Liverpool. So I do kind of understand where some of the breakdowns went. Because obviously there was that, there was that comment he left um, at, in his parting comments in the last words he said before before leaving us really, um, off, to go, off to go to, off go with uh, his international team, uh, Holland. He, he was like, oh, I would have loved to have stayed here at Liverpool, but unfortunately um, things just didn't turn out right or something along those, those lines. It just made you think, hmm, okay. It's, like, it's almost like the feeling wasn't reciprocated or maybe they didn't feel like they needed to keep, they, they didn't put the money where their mouth is basically. But anyway, kudos to him. I'm always, I'm always down. I'm always down for one of our boys to leave on good terms. So I think it was good terms. He was a fantastic servant to the club. So he helped us secure Champions League football in 1617, which was so key for so many years uh, going on. Cause obviously 17, 18, we get to the final, 18-19 we win it, and yeah, and 8-19-20 of course we get knocked out by Atletico, but you get, you get the gist, like we are a serious team again in there, in the Champions League itself, 18-19 he was amazing, 17-18 as well, obviously those great, incredible goals against um, Barcelona, that away goal as well against Roma, so yeah, those are, those are some really key moments he's had um, in a Liverpool shirt, uh, Genie Wijnaldum, so kudos to you mate, enjoy your time over there in Paris. Oh, that was actually quite good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, enjoy yourself, mate. Well done. The second thing on my on my docket on this on this news update for you guys is the African Cup of Nations. So the African Cup of Nations was due to take place, or is still due to take place, in Cameroon in January 2022. That obviously means a few of our African footballers, not a few of them, well I guess a few of them because Matip doesn't play international football anymore, but um, they, they, it means that they have to go off for a month and go play some international football. Very annoying because obviously during the season. So those would be the likes of Sadio Mane, Mohamed Salah, Naby Keita. So these kind of players will have to go out abroad. However, there's been a postponement of um, the confirmation of the dates from um, CAF, so uh, African African Football Association, essentially. Um, I, f I forget the name, <laughs> but yeah, African Cup of Nations. Um, they have postponed the date just due to some some due to some logistical reasons. That was their way of putting it. I mean, it's not. It's, it's wi wi fairly widely publicised. If you're not already privy to the news, there is a, an ongoing civil war happening in Cameroon, so it does make sense as to why there's a bit of um, dubiousness around whether it will actually go ahead as planned. Very sad, but hopefully um, that gets resolved very quickly, of course. Um, on an NFC standpoint, um, standpoint, rather selfishly, this is this may not be the worst, not necessarily, of course, not the, the, the sadness obviously happening in Cameroon, but more so the fact that it may not actually go ahead will be a positive for us. There's been a lot of made about um, our front line even just aging together. So the Mane, Bobby and, and Mo um, combination of front line, they've been together for too long, but for, sh for certain, both Mane and Mohamed Salah will be gone. They're both key figures for the international team. So if that doesn't go ahead, that'll be so helpful for not only for a Premier League push, but for a Champions League push as well. Actually, no, I, I tell a lie, because in January we take a break, don't we? We come back in February. But yeah, most so cup competitions and the Premier League. So yeah, it could, it could work out um, well for us rather selfishly. So I'll keep you updated on all things African Cup of Nations for next year. But I think if 
regardless, what we need to do is we need to make sure we have a back, our contingency plan in place. So we need to make sure we've got some forwards who are going to come in and they can actually play during that period. And also, and also just challenge in general, right? And next up is one of, I think it's a topic I'm so interested, I'm so happy to talk about. I, honestly, it makes, it makes me laugh every time I watch it. Rio Ferdinand. Read it, read it all, or, or every time I read it, Rio Ferdinand has come out and said that Man United have now eclipsed Liverpool. So this is not in terms of like their trophies or their history, nothing like that. It's just they have eclipsed us in their current form. So they were so far behind, they were 33 points behind us. So we finished on 99 points in the 1920 season, where we won the league, of course. Man United finished with 66. They were 33 points behind us. This season, they finished five points ahead of us, right? So they were 38. So they managed to do a swing of 38 points in their favor. So now Rio has come out and said, <laughs> they're now ahead of us. Of course, if you're, looking, if you're looking for a vacuum, you might be inclined to agree with this statement. Now, unfortunately, and fortunately, life is not considered through a vacuum, right? Context is applied to these things, okay? So, one of the key things that went wrong in our season was a key, were key injuries to a good number of our players, particularly in the point where we had no fit senior centre-backs. Seriously worrying. We went on a run of six home games. Of course, it was widely... My goodness, the worst home form in our history at home. Six home games in a row we lost. Um, that was after being top of the pile at New Year's Day and at Christmas. So it is very, very frustrating. Uh, but that comment, he, he went on to also back Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, the Man United manager. Um, and it was really funny because over social media they were like, "Yes, you're right, you're right, Rio. Like you're completely right. Please make sure you're back. Make sure you got enough backing for Oli because United, like they're not they're not idiots. The, the boards, right? So the, the board in United, so they know that they they, they keep giving Oli a, a one or a two year deal. They're not fully there yet. And it's obvious he's not he's not a top class coach. That's one thing missing. I mean, we have we have Tuchel who's come in and he's won a Champions League. We've got Pep Guardiola who's done numerous great things both in Spain, Germany, now in England. Um, and obviously we got we got we got we got the man we got the man at the top of the pile, Jurgen Klopp. Um, so you're not really doing anything unless you have a top manager. But Rio Ferdinand is making something that Man United do. So absolutely. By all means, if, that was, if that's what makes you keep Oli for longer, because not, not too long ago you are talking about sacking him, actually, when you guys got dumped out of the Champions League last year. Let's not forget. And you lost the Europa League final to an outrageously poor Villarreal outside. But anyway, this is not about you guys. This is just more to say, thank you, Rio, for, for giving, giving Oli the, the, the props and, uh, and managed to overturn a 33-point deficit. Long may it continue. There is no chance, albeit providing there are no injuries, there is absolutely no chance of that happening again. There is no chance of United having a season that's better than ours next season. There's absolutely no chance. No way, no how do we finish below United in the league. I said it now. On today's day, it is June the 10th. Before we even made any transfers, apart from obviously Ibrahim Okonate, we they are not doing better than us okay cool so that's all the news i've got for you this week i did want to touch on some i want to touch on an injury update because obviously we do have two very key men in particular who are who are out injured and are showing very great signs of recovery as you know they are great friends together um that is, of course, Joe Gomez and Virgil van Dijk. Um, they are showing fantastic progress together. I mean, if their Instagram videos are anything to go by and their, and their great rap music that they have behind those as well. And sometimes some Afro beats as well. Anyway, sorry, I digress. Um, it is, it looks great. It looks great. They look like they're on form. They look like, no, they look like they're on form, but it looked like they are chomping at the bit. They're ready to come back. I'm so happy Virgil's not, didn't try and get back to the, for, for, the, for the Euros. I know how super selfish it really is. I'm devastated for him. But as a as a as a club, it, it just I just don't. It's just too quick. It's just nah, It's too much of a risk to take, in my opinion. That's that's his career on the line. There. So I'm devastated the fact that he obviously couldn't make and captain his national side of the Netherlands. But it, I think it is necessary that he sat this one out because I know there was one point in time where he was really striving to be ready for that side. So yeah, glad that's not happening. Um, so yeah, he's obviously still completing his rehab, his recovery. So my question to you guys, because I, I want a bit of feedback. So this is me talking, right? So I want a bit of feedback if you guys can comment down below. We now have centre-backs of Virgil, Gomez, Konate, Matip, who's looking likely to stay, um, uh, Phillips, obviously Reese Williams as well. We've got Trent, Robbo and Ali between the sticks. Do we have the best back line in the league? Comment down below. 
Comment down below, do we have the best back line in the league? I personally think we do. No one comes close. We are ridiculously good now. We were, we were good before, so like nothing has changed. Uh, people will say City, but no, even man for man, they're just, they're just not better like, in, any, in any category. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know down below what you think. And another question for you guys, just one more before I sign off. With this team like this, what do we win next year? So imagine this is it. The transfer window is done for every single, every single team. Everyone's done right today. Whatever, whatever date it is, June the 10th. Everything is done, right? What happens from here? Like, what do we win? Do we go semi-finals of the Champions League? Do we come second? Do we come first? I personally think we come second in the league and we win the Champions League. That's what I'm saying. With this team as it is right now, that's what I think. But you comment down below, you let me know what you think. Guys, this has been your weekly, your new weekly general news and injury update, just because I love those two boys who are, who are out. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, God bless, and peace.